this is Jeremy with I Want to Know More. Wanted to do a quick vid just to kind of show uh, what's going on over in Australia. We, we, we don't get to see a lot of what's going on over there, but there is some serious stuff going on over there. I feel like that, you know, at once upon a time, Australia was the testing ground for the New World Order, but now I'm pretty sure it's beyond the testing ground, so just... Uh, I took a few clips from uh, KJ's What's Happened. Uh, it's the scariest movie ever's backup channel, so y'all go check that out. He does a really great job. Most of y'all's probably heard of him, but let's take a look and see what's going on over in Australia, shall we? Excuse me, don't touch me. Excuse me, don't touch me. Excuse me, I've got all of that on video. Please don't touch her. I'm recording this. She's asking you to remove her hand. Can you please stop moving closer towards me? Can you stop moving closer towards me? Australia is a yes that is what's going on in Australia give me just a, a moment and I will get another clip right here's another clip from KJ's what's happened uh, he will read the headline and you can see for yourself Melbourne has called in the military to put more boots on the necks of protesters <laughs> So let me get another clip ready. All right, here's some more from Australia. Y'all just check it out. Decide for yourself. Cowboys and Indians. Uh, uh, this is not Australia. This is not Australia. Look, look, where are they going? There's nobody there. What, what, what are they trying to do? Is this for the, is this for the Channel 7, 9, and 10? No, no, no. Look, tough, look how tough they are. Look, look. They jump on some poor head. Look, 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 look. Poor guy. Just for the, just for the media. Just, just for the media. Look, look, look. Just to show the toughness. Look. Look, mate. You should be ashamed of yourself. Look. You should be ashamed. You should be, should be ashamed of yourself. Look, 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 look. Now they're running here. Where are you going, mate? Why, why are they running to me? What are you going to do, arrest me? Fucking dogs, look at them. I ain't scared of shit, mate. <laughs> look, look, they still got him on the ground. Leave him alone, mate. 
I'm sorry guys, I probably should have warned about the uh, the language in that one. I know some people's sensitive to, to, to bad language, but uh, just know, I think from this point forward, the rest of the clips do have foul language, so if you're sensitive to that kind of things, uh, I hate to say, you may want to uh, turn it off. Alright, let me get you another clip ready. This clip is to demonstrate the uh, censorship going on in Australia. Demonstrator in Australia claims that Facebook is deliberately preventing activists from live streaming protests. Melbourne has been rocked with unrest all week after a construction workers union demanded that all employees get the mandatory jab or face losing their jobs. The government, in its infinite wisdom, then compounded their misery by announcing that all construction would be shut down in the city for two weeks. This resulted in huge protests that garnered international attention and a surge in police brutality. In an apparent effort to censor the reality of what's going on on the ground, one protester asserted that Facebook removed its live streaming function during the unrest. I experienced it yesterday. They uh, removed the live button for me to actually start a live on Facebook. Imagine if social media networks in China or Russia were working with the authorities to block the ability of protesters to live stream anti-government marches. There'd be international uproar. It would be labelled a chilling violation of human rights. Facebook allegedly does it in Australia and no one bats an eyelid. The protester also claimed that police shut down cell phone towers in a further attempt to derail the demonstration. Yes, they definitely did interfere with uh, mobile towers to uh, stop uh, cellular connection. This wouldn't be surprising given that police tried to impose a no-fly zone over the area to stop even mainstream media outlets from covering the protests. Meanwhile, Melbourne can now claim the unfortunate title of being the lockdown capital of the world. The city has spent a total of 235 days under restrictions, surpassing the benchmark set by Argentina's Buenos Aires, which was shut down for 234 days last year. They've now had a total of six lockdowns covering Melbourne alone because the first five worked so well. In the throes of its sixth lockdown, Victoria reported its biggest daily infection increase on Thursday. Although the Orange Vests took a day off today, they're back for more marches tomorrow. And it remains to be seen if Facebook will even allow them to broadcast it. <laughs> All right, there is the censorship going on, but wait, I have more. Give me just a moment. This is what happens when you post stuff on Facebook in Australia. You have police officials that show up at your door, like with this lady right here. Sure. Okay. All right. Is there a reason why you're recording me today? Yes, for my protection. You think I'm going to assault you or something? No, um... So, I don't understand why you're here, and... I haven't even spoken to you, and you think I'm going to do something to you? Well, we have seen a lot of police violence in recent times towards the public. Um, okay. There is a growing... That be there is a growing mistrust, I, I, as you can understand. Um, we don't you, have to worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> not here to do anything like that. All right. So, cool. we're here to have a chat to you because we have instructions that um, you've been posting some things on social media. Um, that you protest, protest on Tuesday. Um, there's no protest on Tuesday. There isn't. Okay, that's fine. But what I hear is to remind you to ensure that you need to stay at home in relation to COVID and um, stay at home orders. 
And if there is or is not a protest on Tuesday, regardless, you still can't link and go to a protest of any sort. I understand. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, anything like that. I understand what you're saying. I want to know the grounds for why um, this is the case. Why? Has the New South Wales government declared, officially declared a state of emergency? That's one. And isn't it um, everyone's constitutional right to protest if there is a protest? Um, I mean, the police commissioner for Victoria has gone on record to say it is not unlawful to protest. It is a human right to protest. That is correct. You are allowed to go protest, but at the moment we have stay-at-home orders, okay? And that means that we are not allowed to leave and go without the five kilometres. We're not allowed to leave essential services. Stuff like okay. That. You have a valid reason Yeah. For leaving your home and attending to get food or something like that within your five kilometres sure. radius where you have to wear a mask, et cetera, et cetera. You can go and do that. But you cannot go and attend a protest, whether it is in the city, Parramatta, I don't know where, or what is going on, but you can't go and do well, that what, right now because at uh, the moment, we have stayed at home. What are the legal grounds for this? No. All right, kind of wished he would have finished playing that clip because I'd have liked to have seen how that played out. But, I mean, you get the general idea. That lady's not going to win that argument. And... I'm just so afraid that, that that's what's coming here. Oh, I mean, I'm not really afraid because, you know, I I believe in God. And, you know, God tells us 365 times in his word that we should not fear. So I'm not really afraid. I just don't want to have to deal with all that bull crap, you know. And I feel like the only reason we haven't had to deal with that is because we are still in, we are still civilians that are armed. So if they ever take our guns, I mean that's that's going to be the end. That's that that will be definitely our future, which we are at a point where you know they don't need guns to fight back. They got weapons that can make us forget how to shoot guns. I mean it's it's unreal what they got to use against us. But uh, just not to be all gloom and doom. Uh, trust in God. Uh, Jesus is the sun. Jesus is the way. This has been Jeremy with I Want to Know More. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you.